Welcome back to the show, everyone. One of our next guests just described the other uh, guest as like being his big lounge cat. Guess which one? We're joined now oh, by Victor awesome. Lucas and Scott Jones, of course, from Reviews on the Run. Guys, Hello. Guys. Nick, I, Scott is Scott. He's like a big cat. He, he just naps in the sun. He's very comfortable. Listen, and he likes to just I'm, relax. I'm tired of this bongo thing yes. coming in and out of each segment. So I, I wrote a <laughs> Did song. Did you say bongo? Or bongo. A, oh, okay. So I, I heard rush theme. So I, I heard too. bunghole. No, no, no reason. Yeah. Of course easy. you would. Easy, of course, easy. but I got a new theme right song there. for you. Mike and Fiona, Fiona and Mike, Mike and Fiona and Fiona and Mike. <laughs> hey! Why don't you use that instead of the bongo thing? Much like you Beethoven. Know, like nope. a cat, you put the minimal amount of effort. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it no was royalties kind of there either. Yeah. No um, royalties. Okay. Now you're building a man cave. I, I currently have one, but I want to make a better one. Yes, I'm he has leaning. an excellent one. He really <laughs> it, does. It's really nice, except the uh, the place where I play video games is kind of a nook. It, right. So my screen is enormous. It's this yeah. far but away it, from his yeah. face. It's, <laughs> and now I have the to wear glasses. The kids can access it. You, you need something they can lock off. Right? Exactly. Uh, so what are you doing? You're taking. Uh, I'm cleaning out my garage. Finally, we moved into an awesome house a few years ago, and now our garage is being attacked, and I'm getting rid of stuff. I'm actually thinking of selling my comic collection, which is a big <gasps> deal Whoa, for me. Oh, that's a big Staff. I know it's huge. I tweeted wow. about it, and everybody was like, "No, no, don't no, do it." Scott, how about you? You guys review video games, of course, for a living. What is yeah. your setup? Well, I live in a penthouse in the sky, just like the Jeffersons. And, <laughs> yes. Uh, and up do you there, have a weird neighbor. It's very bright. It's like the eye of Sauron coming in every day <laughs> every when day, the sun yeah. goes down. So I'm trying to like play games with one hand, and I'm. It's yeah. really pathetic. This yeah. is why no one will ever love. So me. you like, have no man game. No, I don't. No. I'm very envious. So he lives in a house, and I don't yet. But I would love. Well, you to bought a place, and you're going to be uh, setting up your own. There is a man cave. There's a second bedroom next year, which will be devoted to the man cave. Yeah, wow. It's important. You guys are growing up. Yeah, well, kind it's, of. It's, and I, think I like it's, the fact that growing up involves setting up a dedicated video gaming area. <laughs> you know, that is now what it, we call growing up. It's our job. That, <laughs> this is what we do. But we digress, and we do this every time, and then yeah. we never get to the video Ooh, game. Right. What are we talking about today, gentlemen? Locally made and produced games. Yes. Uh, some. Uh, it's E3 madness, basically. That's it's a month a lot after of the E3. We saw a lot of terrific games there, and a lot of games. That we didn't get a chance to talk about when Bree and I were on last time. Right. So we brought Vic on and we thought we'd get started with uh, Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception, which is the sequel to one of Victor Lucas's favorite games of all time. It's amazing. And the, uh, unfortunately, this game is going to come out at the same time as the new Batman game comes out, which is uh -oh. always a huge oh, yeah, dilemma. We know, we know. Yeah, we so, know this is a problem for Victor. It really Lucas. is. I have, to, I have to decide which wow, one this I enjoy looks more. Amazing. It is. It's incredible. Naughty Dog is the developer and they, they really make interactive fiction. So yeah. you feel like you're this character and you're embroiled in this story and you are you know beat for beat believing every minute of it and it's just wonderfully created well, the writing is wait. so superb and the action is so t finely tuned and tweaked and this time they've yep. got a whole robust multiplayer component mm -hmm. i mean this this is really a strong candidate for game of the year they're really? one of the best Absolutely. developers those are big words yeah, yeah, i know it, where it, are these guys based out of they're out of los angeles they used to do uh, crash bandicoot with oh, the okay, adventures yep. of that and yep. then they did the jack and daxter series and now this is their new what? multi what's uh, going on franchise. scott it, there's I what? saw a camera angle where my underwear was hanging out. Oh, nice. <laughs> and then he that's giggled. So he just giggled. <laughs> and did he pull his pants down a little more? Because that's his M.O. Wait, that's, that's not enough fun in there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like the show anymore. <laughs> okay, don't show your booty, but we're going to talk about The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Yeah, Tell this, us about this one. This one looks like it might be the swan song for the Wii, because they've announced the new Wii U, yeah. which uh, Brianna and yeah, Scott talked about. about. Yeah. And so this is going to be one of the last big games, I think, for the Nintendo what is Wii that? Doing I don't that know. Boy. Well, there's, a li there's a little flying, a <laughs> little like, avatar. They're becoming type friends. Stuff. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's the usual Zelda adventure where you find the boomerang, you find the hook shot, you get the the heavy boots. But there's also flying this time. You and say that's not, like it's not awesome. It's, it's still always awesome. awesome. But it's, is it semi-awesome? You've seen it. That's I've the seen, problem. I've yeah. been there and I've done that. Yes. And, and We're I don't currently know. doing that on the 3DS with uh, Ocarina of Time. That's 3D. right. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's the same formula, but they mix it up a little bit, and now they've got the Wii Motion Plus control, so it's all. But Guys, one. guys, what? no what? one makes better video games in the world than you damn Canadians. And mm. SSX is a much it's anticipated, long-awaited yeah. yes. sequel to uh, SSX This is an EA game, SSX? Yeah, and they're restarting uh, the franchise. And what's interesting, oh, and you're not going to believe this, this is the great. first SSX game on these consoles. Right. They haven't, they've totally stepped away from this franchise for this long. Well, they, they released a couple of duds. 
Yeah, they brought one out for the Wii. Yeah, they brought one out. A couple of duds. You have this yeah, I had the I had SSX though. on the PSP, and it was uh, it was okay, right? It was okay. It and the Wii like one was okay, but, but this is this PS3 360. Is amazing. And you know, probably be on the Wii U as well. One of the well, one of the amazing. great games of all time is SSX3. If mm -hmm. you've yeah. never played that, go to your used game store immediately yes, and yes. try to find a copy you of that game. It's very It is amazing how real this looks. Like, yeah, well, actually, one of the coolest things is they have like this Google Map uh, sort of globe view, and you can bounce to any mountain on, on in the world, and then start snowboarding there. So you nice. spin the Love world, drop and drop in, and yeah, away you go. It's a trip. Drop in is what the snowboarders say. That's yeah, right. Thanks for translating also, uh, there. The Elder <laughs> Scrolls <laughs> oh, Five. Man. This is Skyrim. now. This is where we get super nerdy. I yeah. mean, this is yeah, a this long is title. Yeah, I mean, this you is yell is dragon <laughs> things. <in this world. laughs> so, really? so that, that's all. Yeah, you. Exactly. <laughs> okay. you, you, you learn how to speak with dragon tongue, and you can create spell effects by doing uh, but you know, speaking the, like that. There's been a big debate between you know the casual gamers versus the hardcore gamers. Yeah. And this is definitely a game for gamers, like the hardcore of yeah, the hardcore. Yeah, I, I agree. But yep, when don't you have, disagree with me. I, when you have something he that agrees, looks but like there's this. There's a question mark. Yeah. It's just. Why is it for gamers? Like, what makes it different? Well, there's a well, lot. Look at the of, name, number one. I know. Yeah. That. Five. The fact that you have to speak dragon. But you know what? Game of Thrones just came out, and yeah. it was huge. Huge. It was yeah. HBO's and one of yeah, HBO's true. biggest shows. My favorite show, right? And there. Hobbit Two, or you know, Hobbit yeah. Two. Hobbit the Hobbit two. comes out next year. <laughs> When's Hobbit Two coming? Out? <laughs> so that'll probably be out in 2016. But you know what I mean? Like the yeah. people embrace fantasy, and I think this game can, you know, tap into that that desire that people yeah. have. To the desire to speak dragon. And exactly. And it's everybody. a great game. I don't think people care that much. I think that line blurs between what you consider but a hardcore you're, gamer. But you're talking game. about a 200-hour experience right. for sure, and and so people who have you know, That's love lives. But you know what? Right, like right, right. World of right. Warcraft, <laughs> which, not us. Which you do. <laughs> okay, Need for Speed: The Run. Yeah, this is another Canadian-based game. Right. This is uh, Black Box Studios mm -hmm. right here in Vancouver. Yeah. And uh, Need for Speed, the franchise has been around for a very long time. And one of the cool things about the new game is that you can actually get out of the car we, and we do We don't some, know for oh. sure if it's cool yet, but it's, it's different. Cool. Yeah. But you know what? What do you do when you get out of the car? You go into other cars. Are you going to kill people? That's the run part of it. Yeah. No. No, it's literally what we've seen so far. It looks like sort of quick time events, like sort of interactive movie type events. Press the X button, do this. But it's it's neat to shake it up, and that's what I'm excited for about. For sure, and they're always, I mean, you know, racing games have been around for a long time, and yeah. they haven't changed, but yeah. they don't really need to change because they're still so damn fun. Yeah, yeah. and Need for Speed is kind of having a, a bit of a resurgence, I think, the last few years. I love it. It kind of went away. Uh, and it got taken away from Black Box, but I think what EA has done is they're starting to work with all of their partners Scott, you everywhere. just said you love it. You never love anything. You really love it. You know what? I, my heart is very large, and I, for some reason, I just have a lot of love. Maybe it's the good weather. I don't know, but uh, I just feel great. Today. I you like racing games in general, though. He's I, happy. I do. He's I showing do. his I do. underwear. I do. Yeah. <laughs> racing games rock, and it's, you know, it's a... It's an, a genre that is kind of on the edge. There's actually studios that are closing down because racing games aren't selling the way that they mm -hmm. used to. It's a very challenging yeah. market, right? Because you have to deliver something that's different. But it. the realism that they're getting into it's is incredible. Some of those car it's racing, and it's so visceral and well, easy know. to understand, right? Okay, that's a game. That's enough that about go. that. Okay. Let's move on. I want to sure. get to Space Last Marine one. before we go. All right. Space Marine, made here by Relic Studios here in Vancouver. Yes. Man alive, this is some gory, gory stuff. This is based Whoa, on the Warhammer wow. franchise. Yeah. So this is for kids. Yeah. Yeah. This, yeah, this is. Like a holiday a, hit. This is a, you can actually below. wield a chainsaw sure. and uh, maybe you do some damage. I don't even want to say what you can do in all really? this. Wow. You just yeah, yeah. you, uh, you, you, you throw that everybody into thing. chunks. Yes, yeah. and you, you wear. You have to speak dragon. <laughs> uh, no, but it is very nerdy. Gamery. Yeah, it's very. It's based Gamey. on a uh, a, a um, uh, sort of a, a dice little and role paper playing. Role yeah, playing. Like you get a board out. Dice have sixteen sides. Absolutely. That's when I tap out. Absolutely. But you should. I'm told we've never been there. Games Workshop in the in the UK is the owner of the property, and they have like orcs at their front gates. They have orcs. Wow. Like giant size knives. Must be orcs. a larp. Do they have a to moat? There. So, probably. All yeah. of these yeah. games I come go. out this year except for SSX. As far yeah. as we know at this I think point. SSX, SSX is, wait? I think it's 2012. early 2012. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. all this stuff, ask for it for Christmas. It's gonna be what? Right here. These two? You just said Christmas, Christmas, and it's July. So deal. No. That's, that's, We're gonna deal. Like I snapped a little. I'm that's, sorry. That's he snapped. He was happy. Off. Show me your underwear. <laughs> or whatever he you want to do. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh, you can see more of these two. Much, much more on reviews on the run. Don't miss it. Mike has a man crush on you. I saw you kiss a romance. I saw you kiss a shoe recently. Yeah. What? What you. happened? Mike kissed a Mike crush kissed on a Scott. Shoe. Okay, Crazy. I know that. It's a man but crush. Who kissed a shoe? Go to the break. No, All we're right. done. Okay. Get out of here. Right. I didn't kiss it. I smelled it. It smelled good. <laughs> it, it smelled, smelled like, like